Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on WW Personal Points. Happy Sunday, happy April. It is April so I am here with my March favorites. I have tons and tons of WW food favorites, some home favorites, beauty favorites. We've got it all. So if you're excited, give this video a big, huge thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell notification is turned on because I upload five days a week and we do a favorites every single month. Check out the description box down below where I will list everything I share with you in today's video with the exception of the foods that you can pick up at your local grocery store. You'll also find nutrition coaching where I offer personalized macros and calories and one-on-one -on -one coaching. Highly, highly recommend. Links, discounts to my other favorite things and my Facebook group. Come on over, join us there. We'd love to have you are all down in that description box. So we have lots and lots and lots of favorites, so let's jump in. As always, I'm going to start with my WW food favorites. This is actually the biggest category this month. I tried a lot of new foods and I have found so many new favorite foods that I am loving. Starting with this product from Bonza. This is the mac and cheese made with chickpea pasta. You guys, this is better than Kraft mac and cheese. I know. I know, Kraft is the best, right? This is equally as good, if not better. And what's amazing about this pasta is it has 15 grams of protein and it is gluten free. If you love mac and cheese, you will love this. This has been a huge go-to for me. If you watched my big massive grocery haul, I bought some shredded chicken at Sprouts, like pre-cooked shredded chicken. I've been adding that to the mac and cheese for extra protein. Such a good lunch or dinner, super easy, comfort food vibes. Definitely check this out. Next are the Tobani Zero Sugar Yogurts. This was a new food find for me once I moved to Arizona, and these are really, really delicious. This one is milk and cookies. It is so good. I love the key lime pie. That one's probably my second favorite. They are only 60 calories, and they have 11 grams of protein, and they are lactose-free. So if you suffer from lactose intolerant, you can have these yogurts. They're thick, they're creamy, delicious. I fell in love with this beef jerky on my road trip down to Arizona. This is from the brand Think Jerky and this is grass fed classic beef jerky. They also have teriyaki and peppered, I believe. I love this jerky because it's grass fed so it's a higher quality of meat. It is so soft and so incredibly delicious. It is 70 calories per serving. There's two servings in this bag so really you could eat the entire bag and it has 12 grams of protein per serving. Love, love, love this jerky. I've actually seen this at stores like Big Lots and I believe you can order this on the Think website site and you can find it at Sprouts, Whole Foods, any type of natural grocery store as well. Here's a cracker that I also have fallen in love with. These are from the brand Milton. So Milton's makes a lot of different crackers. These are the Cheesy Cheddar's Organic Snack Cracker. So they're an organic cracker, which is great. It's 130 calories per serving. It does have about two grams of protein and it's these crackers are just really good. They're the perfect size for cheese and crackers, meat cheese crackers. They're great to dip in. I love to make up some tuna salad and then dip the crackers in the tuna salad. And this cheesy cheddar is so good. It's like a cheese it on steroids. It's very cheesy, very crunchy, very good. Another new food favorite is from the brand Shrewd Foods and these are their protein puffs. I have the sour cream and onion and I found these at Sprouts and they had several other kinds. I think they had a barbecue, a salted one, and maybe like a spicy one, like a chili lime. These are really good. It's like a little puffed chip and it has 90 calories per serving and 14 grams of protein. I love a good crunchy snack, but I love getting in my protein even more. So this is ideal because you get that crunchy snack and you get in your protein. The sour cream and onion, delicious. One more chip I have to share with you that I've also been loving. These are the Siete Ranch chips. These are actually dairy free. You saw me eat these on my moving vlog. This is another thing I love to dip into tuna salad and have that cracker and tuna salad mixture. It's so good. These are grain free 
gluten-free. They're excellent, excellent ingredients. They have cassava flour, avocado oil, coconut flour, nutritional yeast, coconut milk powder, chia seed, salt, garlic powder, lactic acid, onion powder, citric acid, dill meat, parsley powder, and that's it. There is no artificial ingredients in here, so clean, 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 and they are so, so good. They rival the Cool Ranch Doritos, but a much healthier version. Another Siete product that I love are their Mexican wedding cookies. I also bought these for my road trip. They're almost gone. That's how much I love them. You get five cookies for 150 calories. There's four servings in the bag. And again, super clean ingredients, very similar to the chips, just really nice clean ingredients. These are made with almond flour and coconut oil, and they are a traditional Mexican wedding cookie. So good. I don't even eat five. I usually eat two or three of them just to satisfy that sweet tooth, but it's a great cookie and a clean cookie. Next up is from the brand Brunswick, and these are their little chicken salad pack. So this comes with crackers. It's ready to eat. It even has the little spoon in it to mix it up and apply it to the cracker. These have been really good for me on the go. So if I'm out running errands and I want to pop something in my purse for lunch, I've been using these. You can find these at all grocery stores or the Dollar Tree often has these. They have tuna fish ones as well, but I actually like the chicken salad one better. And like I said, it's just a great on the go lunch or snack. Rather than going to fast food, if you just throw this in your purse or throw it in your desk drawer, you have a healthier option on hand. I also discovered these when I came down to Arizona for the home inspection. These are from the brand Eat Pastry and these are the bite size protein cookie dough. These are so delicious. The entire package is one serving. It's 170 calories. I actually never eat the entire package. I eat about half. So this is two desserts for me and they're really good. They're little cookie dough bites. They come in several different flavors. There's five grams of protein in the whole pack. So not a lot of protein, but more protein than most sweet treats. And if you love cookie dough, you will love these. You could even top ice cream with these. I mean, anything you would use cookie dough in or just as a sweet treat, super delicious. I ate these pretty regularly on my road trip down to Arizona. It was actually my first time trying the Robert Irvine's Fit Crunch Bars. This is the chocolate peanut butter. These are really, really good. I will say that sometimes they bother my stomach. I also will say that they do not have the best ingredients. Not terrible ingredients, but not the best ingredients, but pretty on par for a lot of protein bars. I don't know if it's the sweetener in here or what's in here that sometimes bothers my stomach, but it's a great protein bar if you like them sweet, kind of like a candy bar. I know you can buy these at Costco as well. They're 190 calories. They have three grams of sugar and 16 grams of protein. I also know that they come in several different flavors. This chocolate peanut butter is the only one that I've tried so far. And last for WW food favorites are the Kirkland brand. Has to be the Kirkland brand of the peanut butter pretzels. We love these. These are so, so delicious. And these are actually pretty low point and they do not have any added sugar to them. But the crunch of the pretzel and the peanut butter is so good. Some peanut butter pretzels are really hard to chew. These ones are really, really easy to eat, super delicious. They're 130 calories for eight of them, which is plenty. They have four grams of protein, 15 carbohydrates, only one gram of added sugar. So a healthier peanut butter filled pretzel, I don't know what they do to the Kirkland brand, but they're so good and this whole tub is less than $10. I also have a couple of home favorites that I want to share with you. I have been loving both of these and the first one is my 64 ounce or half of a gallon water bottle. You can see that I have lemons in here from my lemon tree in my yard, which has been amazing. You guys know I love lemon in my water. I love this water bottle. It does come with a straw. I just generally fill this up and keep it in my refrigerator and then I'll fill a smaller cup throughout the day. I like my water super, super cold. So by the time I drink directly out of here, it wouldn't be as cold anymore. You certainly can drink directly out of here. That's really what it's designed for. It does give you the times on the side so you know how you are doing on your water. I love that it has a handle and it has a pop up top and I just use that to fill up my smaller water glass. I really, really like this. I actually purchased this for my challenge group on Facebook. We have a water challenge in the month of April. And we all have the same bottle. Super, super affordable on Amazon. 
it's easier to tote around than a gallon as well. And if you drink two of these, you still get in your gallon of water every day. And lastly for home are these glasses. You know I drink my coffee out of a mason jar every single morning. But what I was finding is if I had somewhere to go and I hadn't finished my coffee, these mason jars do not fit in my cup holder. So I have to hold it or risk it tipping over and spilling. And I still wanted to use a mason, mason jar to drink my coffee because it's fun and I really like having my coffee in a mason jar and I found these on Amazon. So they are a 24 ounce mason jar. They come with a lid and a straw and it fits in your cup holder. So when I want to have coffee on the go, I use this instead of this and I can take it with me to run errands. I think they're so cute with the black metal straw and the cute little wood lid. Love, love, love these. And again, I bought them on Amazon. So lastly for my March favorites is beauty. I mainly have makeup products to share with you. I've been still using my same skincare, so I haven't tried anything new when it comes to skincare to share, but I have lots of new makeup favorites. Starting with the M Cosmetics Serum Blush. I love this blush. The applicator took a little bit of getting used to. It is just a little round applicator, so you just dot it onto your cheeks and blend it out, but it is such a great quality blush. A little bit it goes a very long way. And what I love about serum blushes or cream blushes is they don't accentuate texture. And I'm in my mid 40s. So anytime I can avoid texture, I want to avoid texture. And I really, really like this. This particular color is Venetian Rose. It's a very neutral color that would go with most skin tones. Definitely recommend checking out the M Cosmetics Serum Blush. Another new favorite product comes from the brand Buxom, and this is their Plumping Lip Gloss. Now, it is a plumping gloss, so it does do a little bit of a tingle, but it's not bad. It is something that's completely doable. It doesn't feel like your lips are on fire, but it still adds a nice plumpness, and I just love the Buxom brand. It is such a great plumping lip gloss. It isn't sticky, and it has great longevity. That's one thing I hate about lipstick about lip glosses. I feel like it's just gone off my lips in a matter of seconds. And this one will last all day with minimal reapplication. I really, really love the Buxom brand. I purchased several of these during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty, but if you love a good quality plumping lip gloss, pick up the Buxom. I get a lot of questions on my brows and what products I use, so I wanted to share with you my very favorite brow mascara or brow gel. This is from the brand Flower Beauty, and this is their Fiber Fix Brow Gel. This is incredible and affordable. It's under $10. It does have a little a tiny mascara wand so that you can get in there and not only brush your brows into place, but because it's a fiber brow gel, it sets them and adds little fibers, which fills your brows in and makes them look fuller. It's a great product. I have repurchased this now for well over a year. It's my go-to brow gel. Another brow product that I use every day and love comes from Benefit, and this is the Brow Styler. So on one end, there is a brow pencil and it is angled. So it's easy to draw those little hair like strokes. And then the other end of it actually has a powder. So this is a brow powder, which will also help you fill in any sparse areas on your brows. So I'll fill my brows in with the pencil, go in with the powder, and then set with the brow gel. So this is my typical brow routine. This is what I use today. Both of these products are staples for me. Another lip product that I've been loving, and in fact is the lip product that I have on today, this is from the brand Ilia, and this is the Balmy Gloss. This is a tinted lip oil. I love the Ilia lip oil. It has such opaque color, but it adds that really juiciness of a lip oil and it has fantastic longevity. Like I mentioned, when I use a lip product, I want it to last. I don't want to reapply my lip product every 10 minutes and I love, love, love this tinted lip oil. I have to share this foundation favorite with you guys because it actually comes from Wet n Wild. This is their Photo Focus Foundation. I have Golden Beige and this is their Dewy Foundation. This is so good. <laughs> this is so good. I am somebody who doesn't spend a lot of money on foundation. I very rarely purchase high-end foundation. My favorite high-end is the KVD Good Apple Foundation. I'll link that for you guys too. But for an everyday medium coverage foundation, the Photo Focus from Wet n Wild is amazing. It has perfect coverage. It lasts all day. It doesn't break up or oxidize. 
And like I said, it's super, super affordable because it's wet and wild. Also, this is a large jar and it lasts for Ever. So if you love how my foundation looks, I would highly recommend just checking out the Wet n Wild Photo Focus in the Dewy Skin. And speaking of excellent drug store products, I'm obsessed with the Maybelline Fit Me Powder. This is their loose finishing powder and I have the color Light Medium. This powder is amazing, absolutely amazing. It doesn't cake up on the skin and it makes your skin look flawless. These two things together, a million out of 10, and they're both affordable drugstore products. For a little bit high-end, a little bit more expensive product, this is the Natasha Denona Glam Face Palette. Now, this is the palette I use on my trip from Washington to Arizona because it's an all-inclusive palette. It has an entire neutral eyeshadow selection, five shades. It actually tells you where to put them because they're named outer corner. Transition, smoke, inner corner, and crease. So it actually tells you exactly where to apply them. And then under this cute little flap, there is a cream blush, which is gorgeous and a highlighter. So this is everything you need to do an eyeshadow look and highlighter and blush in one palette. This is the dark palette. They also have a light palette. It's amazing. It is a little bit more expensive, but if you think about the fact that you have a five pan eyeshadow palette, a cream blush and a highlighter, it actually makes it a very affordable palette and the quality is so good. And speaking of palettes, we always end out my favorites with my favorite eyeshadow palette of the month. This comes from Blend Bunny Cosmetics and this is the Dollhouse palette. Now I've shared Blend Bunny Cosmetics in the past. I love their blends palette, their matte palette. That was a favorite in the past. This is actually their newest palette. I mean, can we just talk about this color story? The top and bottom rows are shimmers. You have this deep row here to really build up that outer corner. You have a row of lighter shades for the transition, and then you have some really pretty mattes. This palette is very unique in its color story. The quality is one of the best qualities of eyeshadow I've ever used, and it's an affordable palette, and it's an indie brand, so you're supporting a small independent brand. The shimmers are incredible. This palette has quickly become one of my go-tos. And that's saying a lot because I have over 200 eyeshadow palettes. So if I'm reaching for this, you know it's a favorite. So those are all of my March favorites, WW Foods, Home, and Beauty. Again, everything will be linked down in the description box for you. And if you enjoyed another favorite, give it a big, huge thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell notification is turned on so you never miss a video or favorites every single month. Down in the description box, along with all of my favorites, you'll find nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my other favorite things, and my Facebook group. Come on over, join us. We'd love to have you. Happy Sunday, friends, and I'll see you in tomorrow's meal prep. Bye.